I'm Lina Johnson-Glenberg. I'm an Associate Research Professor here at ASU at the Learning Sciences Institute. The idea of embodied games is that we learn best by using our body. It's this idea of motor memory, so that they've used their bodies and their gestures to learn something. That's just an extra memory trace that's given to them to help them then recall it when they need to on a test or when they're trying to actually hopefully use it in the real world. And so what we do in our lab is make science games to help kids anywhere from fourth grade up to college level learn and then retain the science information better. The Common Core standards have come out and been adopted by most states, and so now as we design our games, we keep that in mind too. Like, how can we also make games that are appropriate for the Common Core, that are things that teachers want to use in their classrooms, and that also encourage discourse. So we always want our games to be collaborative, where kids have to work together, talk together, discuss before they make a decision and move something in the game. This way the teacher can hear their thinking and it also just it gets them you know, into that kind of group work that's very important. I mean, we've known that using the body and using manipulables to learn leads to better learning often if it's well-designed content. But why now, why this explosion? Because we can marry the digital with the hands-on. Digital technology is becoming more affordable and motion capture technology is now more affordable like the Kinect sensor. So we can take that technology and then mesh it into a game environment. And so that's why we're on the cutting edge because we're designing this new gaming content using the way the body moves. So one of the things we were most excited about in the lab was getting the um, Obesity Challenge Award to create a game to teach kids about uh, nutrition and the benefits of exercise and the new MyPlate icon. And so we took the idea of ExerGame, short cardiovascular exercises, mixed with learning new content. So we want to teach kids about nutrition and best choices. And so we put up on the screen two choices that are kind of matched, right? Like a bran muffin and a cupcake. They're a little bit matched, they look a little bit alike, but one's so much better for you. And so the kids have to make rapid choices about which one to take and feed to a foundling alien. And in this way, we're hoping that they make these quick decisions in the game, and then once they're in the real world and they have to make these decisions, moving through a cafeteria line, then they'll make the better decision then. And so in this way, we're trying to get them in a game-like manner to learn better choices, but also get them up out of their seats and moving and exercising a little too.